left hand side line, the ball's called out. Pretty sure this was just out. Worth a challenge, I suppose. 13-15. Murray has two challenges remaining. Gee, he played that from a long way back, didn't he? He was out of out of picture down there with the Lions people. Let Tell you what, uh, yeah, this ball toss on Shad, he's all over the place. He's he's tossing it everywhere. Especially on the second serve yeah. when he goes for a big kicker. Very inconsistent. I think he, I, he, that one went a little bit behind him and 14, 15. I just wonder whether he decides as the ball's up there which serve to hit from what position he's throwing it because it's, <laughs> it is all, I'm telling you, it's everywhere. This last point of the previous service game, I couldn't believe he was able to hit it. The game he's got shuffle. some speed on it though and he's on the scoreboard at last. Murray ahead, 4-1. Facing your fears. I have panic attacks, my heart races, I sweat. A breakthrough research into phobias, spiders, heights, small spaces. I still get the shivers. I don't know why. The pill to help fight your fears. Are you ready to take it on? Yep. On Today Tonight with Monica Koss. I just can't believe I'm here. A shadow on the lung. What the hell is a shadow on the lung anyway? Why do the test take so damn long? Please don't let it be cancer. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. Well, my Kitchen Rules is about real food and real people. And that is what I see in front of me and it's what I got on my plate. I'm doing the family recipe proud. Everything was just top notch. Big tough guy there. He's crying. Pete and Manu are sitting at our, our table. table. <gasps> if I got this meal at a restaurant, I would be over the moon. Oh my god, are you joking? <laughs> I feel like I am in a dream right now. My Kitchen Rules starts Monday 7.30. Do you ever start off a match, Todd, playing at your absolute peak from the beginning and then towards the end of the first set start to think, Gee, I can't play any better and it's only the beginning of the match? Not often, no. <laughs> but it did happen once yeah, or twice. Uh, it's a bit scary when you play this well at the start. Because you know you've got to maintain it for as long as you possibly you can. You've got to get ahead as far as you can. Because once you come off that level, that's when your opponent usually strikes. Because they're aware of it as well. Absolutely. And um, good to see Shardy not panicking here. I think he realises that he's played pretty well. It's just Murray was playing unbelievable for so early in the match. You know, all of a sudden, Murray, love, love 40 team. down. Courtside with us today, we've got Henri Leconte. And uh, this yep. countryman of yours, Henri, yeah. he, uh, he's got a lot to show us, doesn't he? He has a lot to show today. I think he, he felt the pressure from the beginning. But like you say, I mean, Andy just plays so well. But you know he's a shot maker, so he has to make the game. He has to, to play his own game. And uh, it's not easy, but he still has an opportunity now. Love 40. Yeah. So he gets 
for break to love. It's 4 2. As he gets ready to serve again, Nuke, let's just have a look. We talked about the ball toss and have a look at the discrepancy on that left hand call. That's 1.3 metres apart and he's not changing where he stands from. And the one furthest to the left over there, that was the second serve on his second service game. We threw it way over. Now, if he'd have let that ball go down and bounce, it would have been over in the, in, in the doubles court when it bounced. It was a great effort to reach it. So he, he's, he's consistent when he's serving to the forehand court where he gets a toss, but the backhand is all over the shop. Yeah, you got a good view there, wasn't it? That was a flat serve. Now, that was left of centre where he would have wanted it to be. Inside knowledge have you got of Shardy for us? <laughs> Come on, let's spill your guts to us. Uh, I mean, Jeremy is just, he, as you know, I know he has a, a great forehand and he's a great guy, but he's, you know, he had, he had so many problems last year, you know, changing coach and everything, and I'm so happy that he's capable to play so well now. And especially, you know, on the so surface. Jeez, I almost get hit here, it's dangerous. <laughs> And uh, I'm so happy that he's, he's playing well. And it's just, I'm telling you, when you hit, when you hit his forehand, you have to go away because if if he hits you, you you're probably dead. He's got a good streak going. Henri, are you sure that you underneath that hat with the sunglasses on? I mean. Why? You know, you got the Aussie hat on, the yes. sunglasses. Look, it's you, it's it is so you, hot. is it? Yeah, look, look. Oh, ah, yeah. there. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, John. I know. It's, I try to look like an Australian, you but uh, try my best every day. Murray uh, breaking 11 consecutive points. 14-15. Shardy's favour. As, assuming Shardy wins this game, the next service game of Murray's could be quite interesting. Still with a break, 4 3. How can I help you? I'd like school to go back as soon as possible, please. You want school to go back as soon as possible. Right. Highlighters are a high school must-have, so pick up this Stadler 4-pack just for $37. Grab a chair for homework, only $20, and this 320-gig portable hard drive, a low $49. You can get all your kids' school things online too. Let's get to it then. Follow me. If you've got the big ideas, Officeworks has the lowest prices. Summer's biggest dress-up party is at our place. The Wacker, February 1 and 3, Australia versus West Indies. With huge prizes for best dressed, live music and the biggest stars of international cricket. Tickets selling fast at cricket.com.au. How can you clean carpets, hard floors, stairs and anything up high with no loss of suction? Find out at dyson.com.au DC44. Lost the previous service game to love, Andy Murray. It's just tightened up. He led for love. Ah! I don't know whether he's 
tightened up as much as Shadi has just hit some great shots. Well, Shandy made just a couple of loose errors early on. His opening service game, he made two doubles and missed a, a high volley. And uh, that was a little unsettling. He's just got rid of that uh, scrappiness. And Look where Murray is behind the court. He's the server here. He should be the one playing on the baseline. Shows you the force of shot that's coming at him. It's forcing him well back, two, three metres behind the baseline. down the line there from Murray. Shot, he was cheating across to the backhand side, expecting one back to his backhand. I imagine it's this one. You see Shadi make that little skip to his left-hand side. That caught him off balance, having to move back to his right. Good tactical play from Murray. Sure. 15 seconds. This has already matched his best performance at a Grand Slam, Shardy, by reaching the quarters. His previous best was just once reaching the round of 16 back in 2008 at Roland Garros. It's his average speed, you get nearly 130 k's. That's big hitting. Last forehand at 162. Interesting stance that Shadi has on return of serve. He he stands with his feet a nice distance apart, not too far, but he's on the his toes the whole time, dancing on both feet as he's waiting for the serve. Murray getting ready to serve, and now you see Shadi. See this movement he's got here? A little bit unusual. There's no set way really to stand to receive service. Is it? You've got to fit into your own personality and what gets you on song. I think the most important thing once the ball's coming at you is just to have your body weight going forward. I'm cramping watching him. Long five set of doing that. That's a lot of calf raises, isn't it? Yeah. Again, so Murray. Murray settles it down. And he's ahead. 5 3 first set. Murray. Just a reminder Kia are offering viewers the chance to win one of three cars. Just head to fango.com.au, download the Fango app for free, then simply check into Seven Summer of Tennis and start playing Kia Big Shots for your chance to win. That's how easy it is. There's some big shots out here. That was a very important game for, for Murray. Obviously an important game for Shardy too, but more important for Murray because he let four love in this set. And if he loses this set, it's the set he should have won. Mm. Um, yeah, just, just kind of settle the, the pace back down, put it in his set. Uh, speed, didn't it? Because the, the top players are the ones that always like to control the momentum of a set or a match and play it to their rhythm. Fifteen. 
that was what was uh, impressive today about watching Sloane Stevens. She was able to stay at a perfect rhythm that matched her comfort zone when she took out Serena Williams in uh, the quarterfinals. Very impressive. He's got a very nice 15, slice 15. backhand, hasn't he? For a, a guy that's got a, a two-handed driving backhand, but the slice backhand's very effective. Henri, do they teach that in in France now, you know, to have the slice as well as the, the yeah. two-hander? Yeah, we, we used to use that a lot because when we play on clay courts, and I think it's that was the, one of the shots that we used the most, you know. When I was playing on, 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 on clay, I was cheap on charge all the time, and... I agree with you. He has a, such a nice, you know, back and slice, and he's using well because his technique is so fluent, so nice. Fourteen twenty. So, Andy Murray, he'll have to serve for the set when we return. It's 5-4. If you lead a busy lifestyle but want to start managing your weight, ask for Ice Away Complete from Chemist Warehouse. It's made from premium whey protein to satisfy hunger between meals with 23 vitamins and minerals plus pre and probiotics for digestive health. Right now exclusive to Chemist Warehouse, Ice Away Complete Value Pack is only $49.99. For a more natural way to lose weight, try Ice Away Complete. Live, look, feel well at Chemist Warehouse. At Farmer Jackson Food Works Supermarkets, we specialise in quality food at great prices. Cheese, one kilo, six seventy-seven. Shortcut bacon, one kilo, six ninety-nine. Drumsticks, twenty-four pack, nineteen ninety-nine. Frozen raw Australian king prawns, one kilo pack, nine ninety-nine. Fresh boneless and skinless chicken breast, nine ninety-nine a kilo. And WA white seedless grapes, four ninety-nine a kilo. Plus, we're open seven days. Pay less and buy the best, fresh from Farmer Jacks and Food Works. Transform yourself this new year and find a healthier you. Take out Bupa Hospital and Extras cover by February 28 and we'll help make your New Year's resolution a reality. Plus, we'll give you a kickstart with the choice of a gift from New Balance, Aussie Farmers Direct or Endota Spa. So call 134 135 to join today and find a healthier you. So Murray trying to serve this set out. Love 15. 15. He lost his serve the last time he served up this northern end nuke. He lost it to Love. So he's showing us a lot, Shadi. Confident up at the net, got good volleys. Nice pickup this one was. Comes up with a drop shot, slices, gives us a bit of everything. There's the slice. That's the, that's the best slice backhand I've ever seen for a two-handed player. Henri, Shadi won Wimbledon back in 2005 in the juniors. Yes. Why has it taken this long to start to see him get to a, a level like this? You know, first of all, because you just had just to believe, you know, you know what it is when you play the Grand Slam tournament. You can play well, like you said before, he was in a run of 16 at the French Open, but then after that, just have to believe I mean, about himself, about his game. And as you, as you can see, he has a quite unusual game to have a huge forehand and slice, great slice. But to get more and more confident, you need to win matches. And uh, I think that was the key. You know? 
And then, like I told you before, he changed coach. He had, he had a problem with his old coach and uh, was not doing very well. And so now he came back and it's good, but it takes time for him. He's a very nice guy, very shy. So he just had to believe it about himself. It's not coming easy, is it? Having to come back from 15, 30 points down and come up with some pretty good stuff. More and more looking like a, a you know, a must-win set for Murray. Murray's girlfriend there, Kim Sears. Incredible depth on those ground shots, and I was watching Murray closely. He's just in front of where we're sitting, and he was—he's was trying to get a position on the baseline to control the point, and he just got pushed back and pushed back a little bit. And all of a sudden, his opponent's at the net and playing a very strong backhand volley. Baseline in that rally. Yeah, interesting. The yeah, second last shot Murray. that Murray hit, it was a high ball, very high over the net, and had a tremendous amount of topspin on. Went deep into the court, and that set up this soft shot from his opponent. So it was the second last ball that set it all up. Great, footage very there. high over the net. See that you could see that trajectory you're talking about. Then that was brilliant. So a set point. Murray now over to his box, just a little bit, of, little bit of anxiety coming into his game because he realises his opponent is playing unbelievable. Advantage Murray. the right time for the ace. Well, assuming Murray wins this match, if he does win it, this is the type of match he needs, isn't it, at this stage of the tournament. He needs to be pushed. He needs to find out how well he's playing, if the form is all there. Bouncing is fun. 
just not for your breasts. During exercise, a 12B breast bounces up to 8 centimetres when unsupported. It's enough to make you feel a little deflated. Protect your breasts with a burly sports bra. Endorsed by the Australian Institute of Sport and proven to reduce breast bounce by up to 50%. Burley, your body. Hurry into Bedjet while prices are falling. For up to 50% on beauty rest, up to 45% on silly posturepedic, 30% on temper and more. In Bedjet's mattress run out sale. Be quick, ends this weekend. No one's better in the bedroom. Every day, Chicken Treat gives you more deal for four bucks. Two monster chicken breast nuggets and chips. More deal for a measly four bucks. Get more epic value every day only at Chicken Treat. It feels like Bali. Plays like California. Tastes like Tuscany. Make a day of it at Australia's largest mini golf course. Over five acres of stunning gardens with superb al fresco dining into the evening at Leapfrog's Restaurant. Plan a trip to Wanneroo Botanical Gardens, the international destination that's just around the corner. You decide to shave your hair for the Leukemia Foundation's World's Greatest Shave. Your new look makes you brave, brave enough to rescue a kitten. Your deed attracts media attention, which leads to your chin appearing on posters. Lots of posters. Really big posters. Hollywood types cast you in their next remake. You win a Chin Academy Award, release a man scent, and have your chin immortalized on a commemorative mug. Boom, you're the man. Shaving might change your life, but it will change the lives of people with blood cancer. Be brave and shave. Sign up now. Head into Woolworths for our groundbreaking half-price sale. You'll find a huge range of specials, like 10-pack Kirk's Can Varieties, now just $4.24. Don't miss our half-price sale, on now at Woolworths. At Kitchen Headquarters, we have the best deals on the world's very best brands. It's our post-Christmas best of the best building and renovation sale. And it's on now at Kitchen Headquarters, Osborne Park. photo albums are packed with the moments that made us who we are but it's the pages waiting to be filled that are the most exciting Said yes <laughs> okay yes yes because yes. some choices we make are for the rest of our lives oh, no! what happens when the kids are off living their lives are the kids the glue no a world without you in it is a world I can't even imagine. You're not having second thoughts. Of course not. Be there as the family gets back together again. I've got a surprise. One rafter at a time. Starts Tuesday after My Kitchen Rules. Andy Murray taking the first set at Rod Laver Arena. Sloane Stevens, no doubt the happiest person at Melbourne Park at the moment. Let's join her at her presser. She just is like, oh, good job. And they want to talk about my coach more than they want to talk about the, the actual match. So I listen to them and they calm me down a little bit. So it was good. So not many people gave you a chance to do what you just did. What chance did you give yourself before you stepped out on the court? <coughs> Um, last night I was thinking about it and I was like, someone asked me like, do you think you can win? And I was like, yeah, I, th I think so, but I wasn't like too clear about it. And then this morning when I got up, I was like, look, dude, like you can do this. Like just go out and play and do your best. And I think I was, c I was convinced that I was able to do it when I lost serve in the first game in the second set and I was, went down 2-0 and I was like, Mm, this is not the way you want it to happen, but 
you just fight and just get every ball back, run every ball down and just get a lot of balls in play, I think you'll be okay. And then from then on, I just kind of got aggressive, started coming to the net more and just got a lot more comfortable. And I just kind of just played my game from there, I think. Did, did her back problems throw you off though? Because when she comes back off, off the court, <clears throat> onto the court, she starts serving at very lower speeds. Did that affect your game? Yeah, I mean, she was serving at lower speeds, but her serve, she hit spots. And no matter how slow it's going, it's right on the line. It's still a really good serve, even though it's much slower. But um, no, she her serve wasn't was affected, definitely. But she was still hitting pretty good off the ground, I thought. So did you, did you feel some nerves at, at that point? Um, and also, when you had set point, were you feeling nerves then? At what point? Uh, when you had set point in the second set, uh, the first ones? Um, yeah, I think I served for the set. And I mean, it was 5-3, five, 5-4, five, five, but I mean, I was nervous, yeah, but then I was like, forget it. This is just, might as well just go for it. So I kind of just played through it, I think. Yeah, it's a point in three errors in that, that service game. Yeah. yeah. Did you feel, I mean, in the third set, when she broke at 4-3, did you feel that she got nervous? Could you feel that at all from the other side of the net? Uh, no. I wasn't even, I was just trying to focus on me, really. Sloan, what about when Serena <coughs> started beating up on her racket and whacked it a couple times into the ground and then it destroyed her racket? Were you thinking, I'm the one who just made Serena Williams do that? Uh, no, I've seen her do it before, but this is tennis, it happens. I mean, sometimes you just get frustrated and things like that happen, but I mean, <coughs> obviously, it's a tough situation when you're playing a close match and that happened, but I mean, she's still going to play no matter what, smash rackets, no smash rackets. So. But when you see someone unraveling like that, does that give you a mental edge? I'm um, not really. I mean, you're playing Serena as one of the best competitors in the world, and I mean, she might smash a racket, but she's still going to play hard. So, I mean, it was definitely like, wow, that just happened, but it was more of like, okay, now you have to play even harder because she's going to be firing. What did you say to her at the net, at the end of the match? Uh, good match, well played. I say the same thing every time. So, um, good match, well played, and um, she just said good match, and uh, well, I think she said the same thing, yeah. I mean, I remember, honestly. How did you keep your focus when she was <clears throat> off court? How did you and had you experienced that sort of thing? Obviously not in front of such a big a big stage. How did you keep your focus? Um, I just I mean I kind of just hanging out, just chat and gave me a little break and just, you know, I mean, I don't know. But uh I just I mean I've gotten out a lot like recently. In the last three weeks it's happened to me a lot, so I was kinda I was prepared. I kinda like go through like some things in my head and then look and see what my coach is doing and he was eating a chicken sandwich when that happened. <laughs> so, um, I mean, kind of just little things, but it doesn't really bother me as much anymore. Did it seem a long period of time though? Were you keen to get underway again? Uh, no, it was okay. I mean, in my second round match, I played uh, someone who went to the bathroom for seven minutes. So, I mean, that three minutes was really no big deal, so it's okay. Sloan, this time last year you were calling her a tennis god and you really hadn't established a relationship with her, and today you beat the tennis god, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, I definitely improved a lot, and I just... I mean, it definitely, last year it was all new to me, and it was just kind of a new experience, and like I said, lot, even last or in Brisbane it was the first time so it was a little it was tough but once you get by the first the first time you do anything it's tricky and I think I was kind of just ready to play and of course I've improved a lot and worked really hard on my fitness and all that other stuff so um, I was definitely grateful that the year that has gone by has been a good one. Sloan, you went for the smartphone pretty fast there after the match. I know you were looking for a text from your mom, but what was yeah. the first thing you saw on the phone? When you well, I couldn't even really do anything because the messages were coming in, so I couldn't read, like, <laughs> anything. So I was like, okay, this is pointless, so I just put it down. But, um, um, yeah, my mom, and then I, I couldn't reach my mom. I called, and... So I had to call my brother, and then he couldn't even talk. He was, like, freaking out. So I was like, okay, where's mom? And he just, I was like, okay, never mind, bye. Um, but, yeah, I did talk to them. So.
my videos do you remember in which year you the first time you watched the video the game of uh, Serena on TV and uh, when you were a little girl have you ever tried to learn from her on TV and then just like imitate or something when you learn tennis um no not really I mean I always love watching her play obviously but never tried to like copycat or anything like that well, this, this may seem like a sort of dumb question, but how much better did you play today than you did in your fourth round match? Because you were had to serve to stay in the match against Jovanovski two days ago, yeah. and today you beat Serena Williams. So that seems like a pretty big switch. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely it's really tough because people will say that like you like you don't have tough matches like if you play someone that's like your age, but it's definitely harder playing like Laura Robson or Jovanovski, somebody who's your age, rather than playing someone who, that, like if I played Vesnina, like it wouldn't be, like you don't feel as much pressure playing Vesnina, but you feel a lot of pressure playing someone that's your age and like who you're close to. And I mean, it obviously it was really tough playing Jovanovski, it was for the quarters of the slam and, you know, I just, I wasn't playing my best and it was, it got a little tricky, but um, today I just really, I didn't have anything to lose. I mean, you're playing for the semis of a Grand Slam, you just got to go out and, and do it, really. I know you're a big tweeter. Do you know how many followers you have before this match? Yeah, it's 17,000, and now I have 35,000. <laughs> so you could double it, just beat Serena more and more and keep doubling. Yeah, definitely. And John Legend tweeted me. Um, Dirk tweeted me. Um, I mean, I'm just excited. I want John Legend to like sing at my wedding, so I was like, oh my god, he tweeted me, what am I going to do? But then I was like, well, I, I don't know, so I'm still thinking. How many, how many messages did you end up with on your phone? Um, well, I have like 200 and something <laughs> now. Wait, I can tell you how many. Can you just show us the phone? 213 on this one. This is kind of cool, right? Um, yeah, I have 213 on this one, and then I don't use this phone, I only talk to one person, like two people on this phone, and I had like 20 messages, so I was like, Damn, interesting, but yeah. So how, you, how on earth are you going to respond, reply, correspond? Um, well, I'm still trying to figure that out, because... I, th I thought it was free to receive text messages, <laughs> but someone told me otherwise, so I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do, because otherwise my phone bill is going to be crazy, and my mom's going to be like, oh my god, your phone bill? Like, that's going to be, yeah. She's going to be like, the money that you're going to buy yourself something nice with is what you're going to pay your phone bill with, so. <laughs> so half your prize money is disappearing to the telco. Yeah. Is, when you came in, you know, you said you are just going to go for it. This stage now, to be where you are. Is that beyond the wildest expectations you had at the start of the Australian summer? Yes, definitely. I mean, I should have made some more bets on, like, people wearing my tennis clothes or something because, honestly, not playing from US Open till January, that's really tough, and I took a lot of time off, and just kind of being a normal kid and doing whatever to being in the semis of a Grand Slam is definitely... Definitely, I say, a good accomplishment and a lot of hard work, but it's nice to just, it's nice to be in this position. When was the S Sloan showing a maturity beyond her 19 years. As we head back inside to RLA now, Andy Murray doing it well, took the first set and has a break in the second charity, serving at 1-3. Playing some great, uh, some great tennis, so Murray has been forced to play at a very high level. Whoops, there goes that ball toss way over to the left again. Just over the baseline. Henri, there, if um, Chadi's game does Shadi, go off a little bit, the forehand is the big weapon, but is it the forehand that starts to break down if he starts to play badly? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. the problem with the forehand. He's, he's always going for the shot, and sometimes he missed, but I, Love you know, has by the far, because he's always going for the big ones. And uh, that's all he has to do today, because, like you just said, John, Murray is playing so well. I mean, he returns, he makes him play. You know, it's always something different. And he's never 
the same pace and the same balls coming up. Love so that. So we know that Shardy loves the rhythm. He loves when the ball is coming back quite fast. So he needs to do everything. So it's getting complicated for him. Yeah, couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, the complication uh, at the moment is he's lost the last six points on serve. He was broken to love there in the third game. That's 15. Look, that's as as Henri just said, uh, you know, there's different paces and spins and heights. We saw Murray play a forehand a few games ago where it went very high over the net and deep into the court with a tremendous amount of top spin. That set, it, set him up for the next shot. Then there's something coming hard and firm and then slice back. And so a lot of different stuff coming at Chardy. <laughs> oh. What a shot. <laughs> It's entertaining, that's for sure. That's it. Maybe low percentage as well. Yeah, yeah, but that's to, that's the only way he, he has to play against Andy because he's playing so well and then he has to go for the show. When he goes like that, so huge and coming with a forehand volley. Yeah, you used to do, Todd. You remember? <laughs> Not like that. Not quite as hard. Let's for serving. I, I'm watching him hit some of his forehands there. That he swings so hard. I'm thinking, gosh, if I tried that, I think my arm would come out of the socket. He's got a very uh, elastic, fast twitch type of body on him too. He's a tall guy, but he moves well. He's got a great jump out of those legs. We've seen that on serve. Look at this forehand. Just have a look at some of the forehand shot he hits. The racket work after the ball leaves the strings. How fast he whips the racket head through. in a strong position. 4-1 and a set. Hello again. Police say a Perth man missing since 2010 may have been murdered. Major crime has taken over the case of Dean Anthony Pollard. He'd apparently made plans to travel to Tasmania but hasn't been heard from since. Charges against a former Perth priest accused of biting a fellow clergyman's ear off have been downgraded. Father Thomas Burns lawyer told the court his client plans to plead guilty to a lesser charge of assault causing bodily harm. And lawyers for a British grandmother caught smuggling cocaine into Bali say they'll appeal her death sentence. And Australian officials say a Perth man arrested for swearing on a flight to Singapore won't face the cane. Bruce Griffiths was arrested when his Tiger Airways flight landed. And the Pilbara is being warned to prepare for a Category 1 cyclone. More next hour. Will it soon be possible to move things with your mind? Are time travel and cyborgs really likely? Discover tomorrow today at Science Fiction Science Future. Now on at SciTech. Hmm. It's not working. Head into Woolworths for our groundbreaking half price sale. You'll find a huge range of specials like three pack sanitarium up and go, now just $2.23. Don't miss our half price sale on now at Woolworths. And don't forget, if you're out and about, you can always catch Severance coverage of the Australian Open streamed live and free on your Optus mobile. Just download the official Australian Open app and head to live coverage. Speaking of live, in comes Roger getting ready for tonight. The number two seed as he is going to take on Joe Wilfred Song and, oh, the second most famous Roger of all, Roger Rashid. That's nice, isn't it? Friends now, arch rivals later on tonight, and you'll see it all on 7 from 7.30, straight after, home and away. Well, I know that uh, Roger takes keen notice of all the other matches. He watches a lot of tennis. He sits back in the hotel, and uh, I imagine he's taking a look at Andy and thinking, OK, he's gone up a notch today. Look at everything. 
coming out here. This is great tennis. And Murray's, you know, well ahead at the moment. But the, the rallies are great. Look at this controlled, sliced lob from Murray. Brilliant control. And the ball dipping down so quickly. That forced the error on the volley. What a great rally that was. Fun to watch. And looking at Murray today, Nick, I've watched and, and sat commentating most of his matches throughout this tournament, and he's been, you know, he talks a lot to himself, but some of the chatter has been a little negative and uh, almost in losses of concentration. But today, if he has had a chat to himself, it's been very positive. It's, it's almost as if his tournament is starting from here. Shardy there, he was in all sorts of bother. A couple of great shots from Murray, catching him off balance, but it's his mum, Judy. Bit of a loose shot from Murray. Let that ball get behind him. When you hit the drop shot, you really got to go out after it and get it out in front of your body. Get better control that way. Let's for certain. Feast of 13, great 14. shot making. Well, great defensive skills from Andy Murray that quickly turns into an offensive passing shot. Boy, does he move well. Look at that footwork, how he moved right into the ball. He got down so low to it, was able to hold his balance. Shardy still with a break point. It wasn't a bad volley, this. You needed about, what, two centimetres to get it over the net for a possible winner. Who knows what Murray can't get. That's a fantastic exception. The quality of this uh, period of play is exceptional. Yeah, remember, this is a second serve.
Don't just worry. Henri, this man, he doesn't back off. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> He's going for the shot, but I have to tell you that Handy is moving so well. I mean, it's just unbelievable the way he's covering the court, and this is just what Jeremy Shelley has to do to win a point. Advantage, Murray. Fourth. Ace of the match for Murray, second in this set. Again, Murray. Shadi throwing everything he's got at Andy Murray. He's challenging this call. Well, I, I suspect that that's not even going to go his way, Nuke. No, he catches the line and uh, yeah, yeah, Murray. Murray survives some break points for 5 1. Just take a look at this forehand of Murray leads no. five games to one. Shout well, this is, uh, wasn't what I thought we were going to get, but this is that long point that Murray saved. Have a look at the ground covered throughout. Shardy in the end was the one that uh, looked like he covered more of the court, but uh, Murray's defensive skills was what got him in it, wasn't it? Well, it wasn't only the ground covered, it was the shots they were coming up with. We, we saw a little bit of everything in that, uh, in that rally. Oops, there goes that ball toss over to the left again. He nearly threw that in the President's Reserve. Yeah. Love 15. That's a telling statistic there. Second serves one. That's what we look at because if you 25, 28 percent, that's very low. You want that to be up a little higher. I'm surprised Murray is actually that low. Well, it shows you on a high standard that um, Shardy is playing because he's winning 75 percent of the points on Murray's serve. On his second serve, but he's still down a set and five one and love 40. <laughs> Chadi loses this game. He's going to, the change of ends, he's got to scratch his head and think, what's going on here? I feel like I'm really playing well and I'm down 6 4 6 1. I hand it to him. I, I haven't seen him drop his head or, or you know, shaking his head or. Looking dispirited, he's still attacking, going for his shots. Oh, worth a challenge. Murray is something to call back most line of all out. I think that's worth a challenge.
catches a fair bit of the line, in fact. Murray still with a break point that is, in fact, a set point. Oops. The scoreline not indicating how good this has been. Murray leads two sets to luck. Murray leads by two sets to luck. Tonight in Seven News, the hunt for a gunman who opened fire at a suburban police station. Death sentence. The grandmother who smuggled drugs into Bali. What the Taliban has to say about Prince Harry and why a goat fronted an Australian court. Downton Abbey starts after the tennis on seven. Hey, how was the day? It's good. Had a pie? How was it? Yep. Dance in a cage. Hey, how is your. RSVP lets you be yourself and puts you in complete control. Choose the things you like and highlight those you don't to meet like minded people. Hi, how is... Oh. RSVP for modern day romantics. It's a brand new burger with tasty Aussie lamb. And what a surprise. It's our old mate Sam. With an all new patty, the barbecue lamb burger is only four ninety five. What do you reckon, Kicker? Come here, you little treasure. Wow, Arrow's gone on a computer blitz and prices have dropped way down. Acer notebooks at crazy prices. Just look at these. Plus our range of home, business, and awesome gaming machines. Now on at Arrow Computers. How can you clean carpets, hard floors, stairs, and anything up high with no loss of suction? Find out at dyson.com.au DC44. Over 192 style and colour combinations of women's sandals. Reduced to $20. Many have leather lining and high density latex river soft padding. All women's sandals reduced to $20. What's in the name? Plenty when it comes to pool covers. And for the record, there's only one elite pool covers. On Australia's largest range of quality pool cover systems that suit most pool shapes, sizes and budgets. And their performance is elite, as well as saving you big money on water bills and extending your swimming season. See Elite Pool Covers before you buy. Elite, the name says it all. Call Elite, call Elite, call Elite. I think maybe something a bit different. Okay, something a little different. Yeah. Well, I have just got the best book in. I cannot get past the cover. Neither can I. Let's, let's go for it. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. I'll get the cruises out. Well, just chill back. Would you like a herbal tea? Sure. Not the banks. Monday will be the best night when My Kitchen Rules begins. The action, of course, continues tomorrow. And tomorrow night, Novak Djokovic, the number one seed, is up against David Ferrer of Spain, the number four seed. He's been very jovial, has the Joker, so far this year. And it looks as though he's going to get into the swing of things again. He's taken the hat. What's he going to do? Gets in position. Oh, no. Here we go. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. I sometimes wonder this year whether we're at a rock festival or a tennis championship. Let's go back inside RLA where Andy Murray is in control. Murray certainly is in control, leading by two sets to love and an easy hold there. And these are some of the set highlights, Nuke. And uh, there were plenty from both men, but it was the consistency of Andy Murray. As some of the best rallies we've seen in the tournament during this second set and anyone just turned uh, tuned in and you, you saw the scoreline 
six four six one, you would be uh, thinking that you know, well, this is easy for Murray, but it's six four six one because Andy Murray is playing as well as he can play. And Shadi is really playing some excellent tennis. Left for serve. Henri, uh, what does your countryman have to do here? Between, between you and me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, we no, need, no, really, we no. need something from you. No, but listen, the way, the way of, you know, Andy's playing like John just said a few minutes ago, a few seconds, I think it's, he's playing great tennis. I mean, Shad is serving well. Andy is returning well. And, you know, it's not that easy for Shad for serve and volley or maybe to change, to be more aggressive than that. To, do not have any rally, just go for the shots, but he's trying everything. The guy is playing well, but Andy is too good. Way too good. <laughs> 15 all. Yeah, you're right. The, Andy likes to talk about all the work that he, the, he and Lendl and the trainers and coaches are, are, have been doing the last uh, couple of months. And the way he's moving around the back of the court and, and his court coverage and recovery from tough positions. That's all the training. Lotus pays the, off. The, the, the intricate detail that the team goes into about the training. They use a lot of the technology from our Hawkeye system that, that you see pop up every now and then. They work out the, the ground covered in long matches and then accordingly put the training to be able to make it effective for when the next time they come out in a big five setter. And it, it, it's just uh, it's down to the nth degree that they go to how much liquid he drinks in each changeover so that the body doesn't dehydrate. Let's. Second serve. Mm -hmm. mm, too good. Deep return of serve. 30 mm -hmm. Ball comes a little bit short. Suddenly there's an approach shot landing just inside the baseline. Down the middle of the court, giving you no angle to work with. Let for certain. You see, Murray is a long way back to receive this serve, but if you, you watch him here, he'll move forward as the ball is hit. So he's probably a little over a metre closer by the time he's ready to make the return. The same on the second serve. I like that on a return of serve, Todd, the, that, to do that, to move forward like that. And, Really what you see as you look up just before you serve the ball uh, is some, one thing, and then suddenly when the, your opponent hits the ball, he's a, a good metre closer than what you last saw. So Murray Game. continues Murray. the dominance in this quarterfinal. An early break in the Murray third. Two games to left. Sevens Australian Open coverage made possible by ANZ. Behind every great moment is a great support team. Advantage you. Medibank for better health. And Woolworths, where summer's on the barbie.
Lot 15. Shardy only winning 19% of second serve points. Fifteen. I asked Tim Curry the other day where he saw um, Andy Murray in terms of his career. Was he, you know, midway early on, and he saw him just just coming into that midway at his best. So you know, fifty percent there. And it'll lead me in. We'll just watch this point. Lead me into an amazing stat for Andy Murray. Thirteen. 15. If he wins this match today, then he's only uh, a match behind Fred Perry in total Grand Slam match wins of 106. So he effectively is only halfway through his career and he's matched the great Fred Perry. He's passed Tim Henman, who had a, a pretty solid Grand Slam career as well. Because you've got to remember that Fred Perry turned professional at the peak of his career. He was the best player in the world when he turned professional and um, still had, you know, plenty of years he could have played. Because he was the last uh, Brit to win a Grand Slam title, Andy breaking that run at the US Open. But most uh, young people today think that Fred Perry is just a clothing label, Nick. <laughs> He's a, one heck of a tennis player. Wimbledon three years in a row uh, and probably would have won the Grand Slam except he didn't come to the Australian. Lattens. I, I, I was, uh, Rochi and I were having a few drinks with him one night in uh, England at a small town. I'll go on with that in a minute. Second we stayed there with him in the lounge uh, till about midnight, listening to stories. It was, it was he, he had some great stories of back there in those years in the late twenties and thirties. He was uh, he was he was very down on down Don Budge because Don Budge took over when Fred turned professional, and he was <laughs> around about eleven o'clock. He said, "I never lost to Don Budge." <laughs> Tom Budge is the man that won the first Grand Slam, Grand Slam. in 38, yeah, after Fred turned uh, professional. Well, Andy Murray, yeah, Andy he's Murray. looking good here today. Leads by two sets and Murray. three loves. Tonight in Seven News, the hunt for a gunman who opened fire at a suburban police station. Death sentence. The grandmother who smuggled drugs into Bali. What the Taliban has to say about Prince Harry and why a goat fronted an Australian court. Nobody knows we don't last seven. Two girls are head over heels for this boy. Who will he choose? Home and away, tonight on Seven. There's big shavings to be made this week. During Mitre 10's Mighty Sale, this Coleman gazebo is only $1.49 and three-speed pedestal fan just 12 bucks. More Mighty specials in the catalogue. That's mighty helpful, Mitre 10. Head into Woolworths for our groundbreaking half-price sale. You'll find a huge range of specials, like four to six-pack Nestle Peter's drumsticks, now just $3.74. Don't miss our half-price sale, on now at Woolworths. Definitely want to spoil my grandchildren and cook and bake heaps of things. Well, I'd like to do nothing for a while. Absolutely nothing. Well, we will see what happens. <laughs> Even though I've tried to invest, what I found is I don't have the, the time or the expertise. It's nice when you're very confident that the people that are looking after your money are doing it well. They're the experts. I mean, for me, it'll be hit and miss. It's Australian. And it's super. Join Australian Super at australiansuper.com. Well, the Frenchman, Jeremy Shardy, he's thrown everything he possibly has at Andy Murray today, and Murray have, has Andy's absorbed it. Up, 
and, uh, and he easy. has just looked every inch a contender to take this title home. It's the first uh, serious test we've actually where we've actually been able to observe Murray, and um, he's certainly, as you say, he's he's serving notice. Shot starts going in, the forehand down the line off the pass. It's also an indication that he's got some confidence because that's the one that Ivan Lendl has worked hard on. Upping the pace on the forehand, but also getting him to take more through the line because uh, nine out of ten. The, the strength in those legs when he lands and he's in a full knee bend and he's able to prop and recover. And having that body balance allows you greater control of your shots. Oh. Perfect example of Murray's speed, footwork, and control of his body there. 30. Have a look at his legs as he goes to that shot. Look at the recovery. How quick is he to recover and move back and got to that one easily. And it wasn't like it was a bad shot from Shadi. And berates himself then for his movement. <laughs> he said, yeah, that's Move right. your feet. <laughs> uh, another good example. You can see there the second last yes. shot, the forehand he hit. It was down the line, this one here. See how high it is over the net and the depth he has on the shot? That set up a weak return from his opponent and the down the line shot's open. Then he's got his opponent pinned deep in the corner over there. Wonderful forehand, that second last shot. Oh, oh are you kidding? Henri, I see you shake your head over there. It's amazing his court speed and movement and recovery. Oh, he's, he's moving so fast. And it's like you just said, John, the capability to just, you know, the shot and to make, you know, such a great shot after that. I mean, it, it's very, very impressive because Shardy is hitting the ball hard. He needs a bit of luck. Yes. Actually, he needs a lot of luck this stage, Jeremy <laughs> Shardy. A lot. <laughs> and Andy was not very happy about that. He was complaining. Oh. <laughs> How could you do that to me? <laughs> Advantage, Shardy. Murray is challenging the call. Hey, uh, Henri, what, what do you think um, about when people hit a net cord and, and they put up their hand and say sorry? I, I hate it because I know they're not sorry. <laughs> they feel sorry, but they're not sorry. No, no, they're not sorry. Of course. Game Shardy. Oh, well done, Jeremy Shardy, to get himself on the board in the third. Getting a, a huge round of applause there. And uh, this is Murray's Murray return to serve strike three points. Look at those ones inside the baseline on the second serve. So Nothing behind the baseline. Yeah, and that's a deliberate, deliberate tactic from him, obviously, against Shardy. 
And even the first serve return, remember, he's about three or four metres back when he starts, but look where he's actually striking the ball. Very aggressive. Fifteen months. Two Frenchmen reach the quarterfinals here of the Open. Shardy obviously one and another on tonight when Joe Wilfred Songer takes on Roger Federer. And at this rate, yeah, it might only be one because Andy Murray is in superb form. Two sets and 4-1. No. When at a crossroads, my father was fond of saying, go with your gut. My mother's still alive. It is a voice that can tell us who is friend and who is foe, which ones to hold at arm's length and which ones to keep close. It's not whether you find her or not. It's what you find when you do. My God! I tracked down your mother. The story I have to tell is far from over. If I want a good quality brand, I would come to Bunnings. There's a massive range. The benefit of using a good quality tool is you get a better job and they last longer. Bosch Select Screwdriver, $89. Six litre Torbmans Endure Interior Paint, only $69.90. Victor Four Stroke Petrol Lawnmower, $299. Sicker Gap Sealant, just $9.98. All good quality at the lowest prices. Bunnings Warehouse! Lowest prices are just the beginning. Build in a satellite estate and get home and land deals. Build a bonuses, estate incentives, plus $7,000 cash back. But only till the 31st of January. See how to build now and choose more at satellite.com.au. All new Revenge begins after the tennis on 7. Jeremy Shardy serving down 1-4 and trailing by two sets to love. Love the team. 
right, well, time for you folks at home to start getting your uh, ANZ open mic questions through to us. Henri will be doing the uh, on-court interview after this match. away with it but it was not a good drop shot 15 30. just to remind you that to, to go to your ANZ open mic you've got to go to your Fango app it's a, a free download go to the Australian open site there and put in your request you may have to hurry at this rate believe he got that oh. no, no, it's basically I can't believe how quick he was to turn around at the net there and get that shot over his head because he was off balance when it went over his head oh, oh that looks like it got a bit of the line no oh, oh gee. 30 we'll take a look at the court covered by both men oh, yeah, in that rally. And it's not an oh. agile sport. Thirty forty, and that the forehand there is just built by the pressure. Oh, it's, of, uh, it's when someone's moving that well and just you're hitting your best shots ever, and they keep coming back at you. It the pressure just mounts, doesn't it? A chance for the double break and an opportunity to serve for the match for Murray. Tennis oh, can't great play play. Much better than that. That's as good as it gets, folks. Murray leads five games to one. Henri, poor old Jeremy, he's had to hit his yeah. best serve. 202 out wide, came back, and he's just got to be what, saying, too good today. Yeah, what can you do? I mean, I haven't seen Andy playing as well and moving as well as today, I'm telling you, because, okay, Jeremy doesn't have a lot of experience to be in the quarterfinal, but still, he can hit the ball really hard, and he's always there, put pressure. He reminds me a little bit like Ivan Lendl, no? A little <laughs> bit, huh? <laughs> Last of the men's quarters to come tonight. Songer and Federer. You like uh, Joe's chances tonight, yeah, look, Henri? I do. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I mean, that will, of course, depend the way he's going to serve. He has to be, you know, concentrate from the first until the last point because Rogers just shows, you know, he's playing really well and he's very confident. So, I mean, it's. He has a chance, of course. I think he definitely has a chance. Joe looks as if he's lost some weight and he's got fitter than he's ever been. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's moving better. Mm. The only thing I'm a little bit worried is his concentration sometimes. You know, it just goes away and that will happen with, uh, against Richard Gasquet. And he was, you know, just leading easy. And you can't do anything like that. I mean, you cannot do that against uh, Roger Federer.
<laughs> 30 <laughs> first double of the match for Andy. Yeah, he lost that one completely. He gets one of the breaks back. He still trails, though, by two sets and five no, two. Five games to two. If you're looking for a great car, wouldn't you want Australia's best small car under $35,000? Get it all with Hyundai's award-winning i30 hatch. Now from $29.90 and only for a limited time. Brilliant cars, brilliant value. It's Cambo's U Butte Aussie Day Sale, and in true Aussie spirit, we're giving you more with huge savings across our massive range. 80 centimetre, 32 inch LED LCD TV with built in DVD player, just $2.99. Whirlpool 410 litre two door frost free fridge freezer, only $6.98. Euro stainless steel dishwasher, $2.99. Whirlpool 7.5 kilo front load washer, only $4.49 after cashback. So come on and get an Aussie Day bargain all this long weekend. Cambo's Canning Vale, Malaga, Midland, and Osborne Park. U Butte. Head into Woolworths for our groundbreaking half-price sale. You'll find a huge range of specials, like shortcut bacon rashes, now just $7.84 a kilo. Don't miss our half-price sale, on now at Woolworths. Well, Jeremy Shardy makes his way out. And what a good effort to break Andy Murray there. We hadn't seen... Barely an error from Murray for this match until uh, 30 all and he served his first double fault. So he, he is human. Let for serve. Still got an extra break up his sleeve though here in the third. Good work here from Shardy down 6 4, 6 1, 5 1. Um, keeping after his game, not going away. Uh, Murray lost that one right. completely he, when it came down out of the sky. He did. It came right down in between where the, 30, 15. The, the shadow is coming across the court. It's almost gone our three quarters of the way across. That was the backhand volley, but it was the forehand one. He, he only just got a bit of the frame on it, didn't he? Absolutely. Well, perhaps it's uh, 
the inevitable by the scoreline, Murray, at match point. It's been a uh, very, very impressive game from Andy Murray. And Murray's through to the semis. It's his 12th Grand Slam semi-final. Convincingly through against Jeremy Chardy of France. The score, 6-4, 6-1, 6-2. He's been impressive, hasn't he, Andy Murray, since Ivan Lendl came on board just before Brisbane last year. He won the Brisbane International with Ivan Lendl at his side, and what a phenomenal 2012. He then had the final of Wimbledon. He won the London Olympics and then went on to win his maiden Grand Slam. Continues on in 2013. Brisbane, he's defended that title. And he's smoking along now. He's into the semi-final of the Australian Open, as he was last year. If you remember last year, it was that epic against Novak Djokovic. Five sets where many of the good scribes say he came of age. The rest of the year was outstanding. Warm applause for Jeremy Chardy, the Frenchman, who has made his deepest run in a Grand Slam. He disappears. He's had a terrific tournament. So Andy Murray, he now awaits the winner of tonight's clash, that is between Roger Federer and Joe Andy, Wilfred Songer. Through to your 12th Grand Slam semi-final. Through to your 12th Grand Slam semi-final. Terrific performance. I think the worst shot you hit all day was when you threw the towel on the cameraman. Yeah, I missed the crowd by about 10 feet. That was, uh, yeah, that was a pathetic effort. <laughs> Today wasn't pathetic, though. Rate your performance considering the waves you've moved through the tournament. Today was the best I played. I'd struggled in my last uh, few rounds a little bit. Um, my last opponent was injured, so it wasn't uh, much of a match. He was struggling physically, so, you know, Jeremy's had a great tournament. He's, uh, he's beat some top players, so I needed to come out uh, sharp and got off to a good start. Do you think that's the best you've ever moved on the court? Uh, I, moved, I moved well today. I mean, I, I had to defend a lot from that end uh, on this court. The breeze is always right in your face, so you have to do a lot of defending. And uh, that's, why we, you know, that's why we do the work in the off-season, to try and chase as many balls down as possible. What about the semi-finals? What do you do tonight? Do you go and watch? What happens? Uh, no, I, I'll watch a little bit, but I won't watch the whole match. I'll uh, I go and do an ice bath now. Then we have to do our media commitments, which normally takes about an hour, and then uh, get some food and get an early night and hope that Roger and Joe play for four or five hours if possible. <laughs> well, we, we look forward to getting through the semis. We all look forward to tonight. We know it's going to be a great match. Congratulations on reaching the semis. Well done. Thanks a lot. So the favourite is through to the semi-final. That was expected to be the case today for Serena Williams, the number three seed and the favourite for the tournament. She played Sloane Stephens, the young 19-year-old from the United States. Serena won the first. Let's see how it played out in the third. Sloane Stevens' career, the 19-year-old from Florida. She grew up idolising Serena.